Good morning. It is April 16th. Sorry about either the quality of the video or the, the shakiness of it. Uh, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, April 16th. Uh, it has been about 10 months or so since I have done a video. I have gotten some feedback on past videos and about how people miss the videos and uh, whatnot. So I just figured I had some time. I got my coffee. The sun is coming up. It's a beautiful day. Uh, it's supposed to be like 75 or something today. For those of you that don't know, I'm in Virgi Virginia Beach. Um, so, but anyway, let me get into it. So here is my update. I got pretty much have the garden planted. We'll start over here. This is my blueberry bush. Um, it's getting bigger and bigger every year. Last year it produced handfuls. Uh, it was really just, it was fun. That's the big thing of it. It was just a fun plant to have in my backyard that my daughter, my wife, and I could enjoy. And that's all I do this for is that's the whole purpose of it. Uh, so over here, I have some flowers in the back. Um, don't even remember what kind they are. I just, this year, I'm really trying to incorporate more flowers into things. Opposed to just a bunch of green vegetables. And even though it's pretty with the... the peppers and tomato flowers and the beans and everything else it's just I'm still I want more pollinators so anyway so there's flowers in the back uh, these big things are different types of radishes some white tips some um, was it scarlet the red ball ones I don't know uh, so I have that in these nine holes I have asparagus I planted it at the end of the summer last year and I wasn't sure if it even worked. So this year, I went and I just got another pack and I planted it. I really want this to be like my designated um, asparagus bed. I don't want to have to plant stuff every year. I'd rather things come back every year. Uh, that's why I have all my strawberries, which last year I was getting a handful a day. This year I'm probably going to get more because I transplanted some of these into another area, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I have chives, radishes, flowers, asparagus, I have some kind of in the mix, I have some tomatoes, uh, these are just Roma tomatoes, because my radishes are going to be done soon, so I figured I would get the aromas just in there and get them at least to where the roots can start, um, so I have that over here, I have cucumbers in the back that I'm going to put up the system uh, also for those that haven't seen this is my trellising system um, it goes across it's about 16 and a half feet or so across I have turnbuckles on that end and I just have these wires that go across that I can attach strings to to string up nets and plants and everything else it, it works great for what I need I also have cages um, but a lot of my plants get taller than the cages so it really helps so I have cucumbers in the back I have I had three grape tomatoes that one I don't know what happened to it it just died off so I have that I have three jalapenos and then um, which one are these I have three red madness petunias so I have those I have my grapes that I planted last year, uh, beginning of the season last year I think it was, with some beets in the bottom as well as some onions that have just been in there. I have some sugar snap peas, broccoli, uh, those are red sally salvia, I have them in a couple spots, some sunflowers some onions and then um, shallots I think over in this one I have this is a new great plant I planted it maybe about two months ago so I have this here I have spinach and onions uh, more cucumbers I have what are these some beefsteak tomatoes uh, a couple flowers like that one I think is another one of the salvia uh, these are turnips and in the midst of the turnips I have more I have some peppercini peppers 
And I know it's kind of weird because everything is crowded, but I have some more petunias, some ultra red star petunias, which are like there, there, and there. These turnips weren't very big at all when I did it. They were kind of stagnant for a long time. So that's why I kind of just planted in the midst of things. Back here, I have basil. And I had habanero plants across the front. I had three of them. Right now, that one's pretty much eaten. That one is the little part, which is almost gone. Broccoli. More strawberries. I just transplanted them everywhere. I love strawberries. So is my family. So, uh, alright. This one. I have the other peas or snow peas. These are sugar snaps. I So I have those. I have these red flowers, which I can't remember the names of, but they're really pretty. And help attract hummingbirds and bees. Uh, more flowers in the front. These are cayenne peppers. So there's those, some more onions throughout. Uh, this is just mint I planted three years ago. I never even touched the pot and it just comes back more and more every year. My big bed. So this one I planted, altern um, I alternated colors as far as the lettuces and I was hoping it was gonna be super pretty. But nothing really happened to it. Uh, I, I try to do everything organic. I, I put stuff in it. I was a little bit late putting um, like manure and more chips and, and everything on my beds. I, I didn't do it until the springtime. Or not in spring, but maybe like two months ago opposed to doing it last fall when I should have. Some stuff is doing good. Some stuff isn't. Uh, I ended up spraying some miracle Grow on it. It's on that. I kind of just realized that instead of being legalistic about being organic, why not just be able to really enjoy it? And instead of being disappointed, I just prayed a little bit of miracle grow. And if since then, all the lettuces and everything just skyrocketed compared to what they were. So, let's go through what I have. I have three Rutgers tomatoes, which are doing pretty good. I go back and forth between the lettuces are, I have red sails, I have red romaine, I have butter crunch, I have, um, what else do I have? Red black seeded Simpson, I think, and a few others, but, so I have that all around the perimeter, I have a board that divides the bed. It's 14 feet long, 7 feet, 7 feet. I have a really, and once again, I, I don't claim to know all the names. I don't claim to know everything about this. I just have fun doing what I do, and if people want to watch it, awesome. If people want to give me their advice and everything, I appreciate constructive criticism. Um, but yeah, so here is some carrots that go around. These carrots are like the shorter or colorful ones like the purple red orange yellow all the different ones over on this side i have a, a u of what was it the danver carrots so i have those i have marigolds throughout i have one two three california wonders these are just the basic green ones um marigolds i have beets i have some charred I have, let me see what else, I have tons of stuff, I have uh, yellow bells, um, what is it? right there, there, and there, I have a California Reaper, I have a Trinidad Scorpion, and I have a Ghost Pepper, those are my hot ones, I have, and sorry about the AC unit, I also have just some more sweet bell peppers around here as well as I keep the labels in here but my daughter who just turned two uh, I started doing videos before she was born um, but so anyway I started doing that and she's two and she loves to come out here and play and help me she also likes to pull my labels out so 
there is that. I also have over here an apple tree, which I picked up on clearance last year. I just decided to plant it. It's a 